Hey guys, it's Dear Tushak here with another BuckTux plugin tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to use the configuration API within Bucket. Specifically, we will be doing uh, reloading configs, saving a config, and getting values from a config. So the first thing that we need to do is add the onEnable method, because that's very important. So public void onEnable. Alright, and then to save a config, all we're going to do is save default config. That method right there will check to see if there is a plugin or a config in your plugins directory on the server. If there is not, then it will grab the config that is in the jar, if there is one in the jar, and save it to your um, plugins folder on the server. So to put a plugin in our jar, we need to have it compile with it. So for this, we're gonna add it to the same folder as our plugin.yml. We're gonna just do config.yml, and I like to add a little uh, um, peel plugin by DRT Shock. And then I always add a little made with love because I make things with love. Okay, now the value that we're gonna be doing here is exp on heal, and we're going to set that to 100. So right here, this is called a key, and this is the value of the key. So you can set the key to be whatever you want, the value to be whatever you want. You can use this for strings, ints, doubles, um, even item stacks, whatever you want. Um, but right now, we're just gonna work with ints because that's what's simple, and I just want you guys to get the concept. Now I'm going to go over into my main class. Now that the uh, config will be there, we can get values from it. So we're going to do player.giveexp, and then we are going to uh, go get config. So that gets our file configuration object. Now what we can do is, ooh, IntelliJ knows me and knows I want to get an int, exp on heal. Now that right there will get an int, that's uh, exp on heal. And then just in case for whatever reason that returns null, um, or we mistyped our key or whatever the heck or the stupid server owner deleted the config or the value or whatever uh, We are going to set this to default to 100. You don't have to do that, but I strongly recommend it I always do it in all my plugins just to avoid MPEs and stupidity Otherwise, you're kind of gonna have to deal with a lot of stupid bug reports Now we are going to add a little message here saying that you have been healed and given um, let me just copy this line right here just because we're going to be using it or this little method Boop. exp all right so that will tell them right there that they've been given that much exp now we're going to do target we have because we have to do it down here to give exp man IntelliJ is smart um, and then you have been healed by and given um, exp all right there we go now that right there will give the target player exp tell them that they got that and then the next thing that we need to do is implement reloading um, all that we need to do for here is implement a slash heal reload command so we are going to check if args zero so that would be like the uh, second thing that you type with the command the first thing that comes after the command that equals ignore case reload and then we're going to also check in the same statement here, um, sender dot has per whoops, sender dot. Uh, now I'm getting all confused. Has permission heal dot admin. So we don't want anybody to be able to do this. We only want admins to be able to do it. So you don't need random people reloading your configs. Um, and then all you need to do to reload your config that's in memory to the one that's uh, to refresh it with the one that's saved on disk is reload config. And then we'll just let them know, hey, you know we uh, reloaded the config for you. Plus, config has been reloaded. Yay! And then, since we don't want uh, things being run that shouldn't be, we're gonna make this right here an else if statement. That means if this one, if this right here gets run, uh, this statement right here won't get run. So that way, if there's a player called with the name reload, well, that's kinda tough luck there, buddy. So you won't be able to get healed. By somebody else and that's all there really is to it it is very simple just to get a uh, value from the config and get it in game and it's also very simple to reload the config now since you guys sometimes have to see it to believe it I will show you exactly how we do this I will compile my plugin here and then I will grab whoop, close that folder grab my target folder build success heck yeah okay it looks like I have this from a different thing so I'm gonna delete that um, oh 
Looks like I'm also running my server already. Try again. Stupid windows. Okay, let's move this over into our plugins directory. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start the server up. Now you will see in the plugins directory over here, once the plugin's been enabled, it will automatically create a heal plugin folder with the config.yml inside of that. So however the heck long, there we go, that was pretty quick. There's the folder, there's the config, and let's, there it is, okay. And sweet, there it is. Now we will go in game. Let's join my uh, neat little local host server here. Um, let's go advertise it on Planet Minecraft. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so I'm just going to type slash heal, and there we go. Look, I've been given EXP and everything. Let's check, wait for that message to go away. So you can see my XP level right there is 28. So then when I do slash heal DRT shock, oh, it goes up to 30. So it does all that stuff right there. Now let's do this. Let's add it to a th a thousand just for the fun of it. So we're going to do heal reload. Configuration has been reload. Um, if I could talk. And then we're going to do slash heal. And there it is. It gave me 1000 EXP. How neat is that? So that's all it really takes to reload a config um, from memory that's on disk. It's very simple. Very simple to grab config options as well. Um, I will be expanding on this in later videos, show you how to do things like get keys recursively and how to do other magic with your config. Um, I will try to roll out videos once a day or so now, or once a day or two, because um, you guys need to learn more, and I like teaching. If you have any suggestions or feedback or whatever on the videos, then let us know in the comments. If you need any help, then feel free to join uh, Pound Bucktuts on Espernet IRC. Uh, if not, thanks for watching, guys.